Ooh, that's a big bird. I know. <laughs> that's like a cannonball. Alright, good morning. Today is October 21st. Second weekend, third day. Got my cousin over here. I'll see if I can put him, put him on his first buck. Not too much activity yet. But hopefully when we go over here, we can start seeing deer. Let's just look. It is a gorgeous morning. Earlier, just right right behind over here, we saw two does, I believe. A big doe and a little doe. Basically a fawn. And we're right back in the open right now. We're just glassing these little open stuff over here. Very slow day so far. Lots of does, no bucks. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so we just glassed up three does, I believe. They're pretty big deer. I, I was really hoping it was like a buck and two does, but I think it's just three does. Might be a doe and two fawns, but I think they're all just does. They're probably, they're way over a thousand yards, that's for sure. But if it's a legal buck, we're going. We're just going to stay here and try to identify and glass as many deer as possible. Alright guys, it is starting to snow. First time ever hunting mule deer in the snow during October, so a little cold. Decided to just sit here and we're basically just gonna glass and make a fire at the same time. So that's what we're doing. Probably been doing this for like 30 minutes now. And it's finally just starting to light up a little bit. So the wood, pretty damp. But we'll make this work. Alright guys, we are still trying to get this thing going. Finally starting to get some little oomph to it. But this is officially the first snow that I have ever experienced when hunting mule deer here during early to mid-October. It is snowing. If you guys look on the ground, it's already starting to accumulate. So we're going to get at least 1 inches to 3 inches of snow that's accumulated. So maybe like that much snow. I just want everything to be white so that hopefully the deer come out and play. I've never hunted mule deer in the snow like in this area so I don't know how this snow is going to affect the pattern. I don't know if they're going to make the deer less active or more active so everything's covered up. This is the thing I love about Badlands. They always have for the majority of the packs they have these rain covers. This is the vinyl XR. The two clutches are pretty much covered and we're just here to slowly warm up. what we're after. This guy's huge. He's fresh, dude. We're looking for this guy. We are looking for this guy. This is a big buck. He's bigger than, he's bigger this year. Oh, 
We're, look, we're trying to find that guy for Josh to shoot. Guys, that is a really fresh deer trick. Going down here. That's after the snow. Climbing in the snow, man. Basically made it to the top. This is the last obstacle. This guy wanted to hunt with me. Taking, I'm not even taking a hunt. I'm just taking a rock climbing. <laughs> You're know there hunting in the snow. Gotta love it. Conquer the hill. All right, we're gonna take a break real quick. Why carry water when you could drink it and make your pack lighter? This is our mule deer hunting in the snow. First time. Eat a little bit of something. Eat that food? Yeah. Eat a granola bar first. Guys, we are on the trail of a big buck. It's probably 230 class. You guys see that? Look at that. It's a big buck. I think two of them. A pair of 230 class bucks. You see how big, look how big that is compared to my feet. I have never hiked so far here in my life. We are not even close to camp. So, we got our way back to camp. The snow is basically uh, basically uh, melted so now it's like a light drizzle with rain we need to find a buck man about to make it happen as soon as we cross this right here come on come on buck come on where you guys at show yourselves look guys you guys see this hiked all day just for that I call myself the cattle man every single day I never miss them or I don't know if they never miss me or I don't miss them where there's cattle, there, there's deer. Last minute grind right here. See that? There we down there. Are you gonna charge me, buddy? Better not charge me. As you guys can see it's day number two here going a little late this morning because over here you don't have to hike as far before you start hunting so I still see camp from here we're just gonna be hiking this mountain going over there see if any bucks want to come up and play we went on that side this morning or yesterday but didn't turn up anything promising so try this side last day of our mule deer season still a little bit of snow pretty cold gonna try my alpha jacket that I should have tried on yesterday and my exo pant down here that I should have tried on yesterday and my gaiters that I should have tried on yesterday but I guess I wanted to do it today we'll see how it goes fingers crossed
cutscene for you guys. Earlier we, I started like sparring with my, my sheds. Called in a deer. 99% sure it's a buck. Cause we saw his footprints. And then I think he slowly snuck in on us. And then we didn't know anything. And then the next thing you know you just hear that bump, 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 bump of that deer jumping up. We went and found his tracks. It's obviously a buck. Pretty sure he's a legal buck too. But right now we're gonna just go and chill. See if any deer wants to come out and play. This is my first time being over here. It's just time to go and relax. It's the last day, so why not get in like an hour or two of just relaxing. We haven't seen a deer all day. We've only heard that one buck jump away. There's a woodpecker right there. Alright, so it's about maybe almost 12 in the afternoon. So we had decided to just go back down to camp and call it a season for mill deer. You guys can see we're coming up some pretty steep stuff. I don't know if the camera does any justice. This is the terrain I love to hunt. Super steep. You know, it's just grass and just tall trees. We didn't see a single deer today, but it was those hunts were uh, what if he's just right over the, the next ridge or whatever. It was basically that today. It was just, I was always like, oh my goodness, like we might just see it. But it didn't turn up anything, so who knows, we might get lucky and go shoot one by the road. The road is just right down here. Then we're going to get to the road and just take the road back. Getting down to the nasty stuff of the creeks. Got to cross this fence too. Look down here. The road is just right up here. Got to find a break. This little fence. Back up here. All right, made it to the main road. Apologize for the wind. It's hot. Came from up there. We gotta hike the way back to the camp. These gators came in clutch. The exo pant came in clutch. The alpha jacket didn't really need to use it. Came in clutch though this morning when the snow was melting off the trees. But yeah. Uh, pretty far walk to go.